after being forced to travel no 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 a uh, circuitous path. That's a word I, I never heard before. Um, I was certainly uh, let. I was eventually led back to the very room I was in a few minutes ago, the announcement room. I push the door ajar and find Labras uh, inside. But uh, it's, this is uh, but it, uh, she uh, the real one or the shadow. When Labras sees me, she seems genuinely fr genuinely frightened. Her reaction and the color of her eyes. This didn't match any of the characteristics she had told me shadows would possess. It seems this is truly the real one. Looks like uh, she was uh, still. Uh, looks like she was still safe. Before she denied uh, her shadow, I uh, take her. Uh, I must take her into custody at once. Come with me. I won't let you get hurt. I take a step forward and hold out my hand. But Labras backs away, terrified, and seems to and keeps her distance. And where will you go? Is that how you're gonna solve everything? <laughs> you won't even listen, huh? Fine. I didn't think anything I said would be enough to earn your trust. So come at me with everything you've got. I'll accept you for who you are. The shadow will try and replace its originator. If I lose Labrys, I won't be able to fulfill my duty. Is my strength enough, enough to grant my wish? Something told me that, uh, that the results of my training were about to get their first real test. Part of my pull. I did with sword. Why won't anyone understand? I, I. She's finally stopped moving, but Labrys's expression tells me that she's not uh, at all there right now. I wonder if I can get through to her now. Just as I'm about to speak. I only sense the wind in for a moment. An undetected ambush from behind. A giant axe spun uh, at, uh, at such a high speed that it uh, looks like uh, a circular, bl uh, circular blade to the naked eye. No matter what part of that axe hits my head, it'll decapitate me for sure. Better not uh, let it hit me then. Oh, that's a pretty dangerous looking electric fan you've got there. <laughs> I'll have you know that axe is awesome. The shadow glower is at me with, with an expression of pure hatred. The murderous intent intent she showed is it's like, uh, like any of the is like any of the pathetic uh, thug, uh, thugs I've faced, howling with rage as as they try to uh, land a punch. Excuse me. I'm in her head now. It looks like uh, the real uh, showdown's finally arrived. Having squandered her chance and set an ambush, the shadow angrily prepares her next move. 
Labyrinth uh, also sees the shadow and lets out a shocked yelp. Please stop! This ain't what I wanted! Hey, calm down. This is your shadow. It's you, isn't it? A shadow is formed from the repressed parts of yourself. That's what Chie told me. But even then, after hearing the truth, Labras continues to shake her head and deny it. What good will accepting it? If I accept it, then I'm just... That's, That's right. right. There's, There's no, no way he'd understand. understand. The Kirijo group created you as a tool. Of course, that's the only way they can think of you. My word uh, will not reach Labrys uh, while she's like this. The shadow, no, uh, the shadow's cruel work has uh, uh, to have a tight grip on her heart. It isn't uh, easy uh, to support someone who, whose weakness uh, has filled them with doubt uh, and taken over their heart. I decide to listen uh, to what the shadow has to say. This way, I can understand the weakness uh, that Labrys is harboring. Harboring. You didn't hesitate at all to attack him. It just shows your true colors. <laughs> you want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through. Right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament. You want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! But it was no use. They didn't understand, and kept getting in your way. It's all right, though. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. Stop it! That's all a lie. You're not me. Here we go. The shadow display is a satisfied smirk. She's waiting for the uh, uh, for the words of denial. It would uh, be easier to just stop Labras from saying those words, but it would be mean uh, but it would be meaningless for me to do so. I kept my gaze on Labra uh, as she speaks the words of denial with finality. Time for the bullfight! I'm finally free! I won't let you or anyone else get in my way! I stand before the shadow, who is laughing insanely and gurgling with newfound power. Her power is actually quite impressive, but I know there's no need for me to fear it. This is where the real battle begins. Really think I'm gonna make it that easy? The shadow contorts her face. Those were the same words that the shadow uh, threw at me before, after all. You will be destroyed that badly? Then I'll save her for later and crush you now. I swore I'd protect Labrys. And I'm not gonna lose what I'm protecting ever again. Now, come get me. Shut up, Carrie Joe Dog! <coughs> God. I... 
After silencing the shadow, I stand before Labrys, but she casts her eyes down sadly. Hey, what's with that face? Stand up and look at me. I have a message for you from Chie. Huh? She wanted to apologize for doubting you and hurting your feelings. She was really sorry about what she said. She wanted to tell you herself, too. She was so determined to save your heart that she threw everything she had at me. Chie-san said that? <laughs> also, Mitsuru, the girl in charge of the Kirijo group, learned what happened to you and was mortified to hear of it. Do you still think no one understands? That your pain is unique to you? I never thought of things like that. I never imagined anyone understood me, but that's... I'm a machine, not a human. Labrys mutters and casts her eyes down again. I don't know anymore. What am I supposed to believe? You're a human, so you must have, an uh, you must have the answer. Uh, uh, Labrys gazes up at me expectantly. It's true that I have something to believe in. But I don't just have something to believe in simply because I'm human. Plenty of people walk uh, the earth with nothing to believe. I find it... Uh, uh, I have to find it uh, and grab hold of it myself. Indeed, I found, uh, that, uh, I found it after facing down my weakness. I don't know much about how you suffered in the past. Or how many times your heart was broken. But don't give up. Believe in yourself and keep standing up to the world. No matter how many times you fail, some things you have to grasp for yourself. Labrys looks up. This time she finally looks me in the eye. That's right. If there's something you really want, fight for it. You'll never get it by running away. What's your strongest desire? I... <sighs> Labrys falls silent. I don't prod her for an answer. You can't rush this. This is something women must fi find a way of you know, facing down uh, themselves. Searching their heart for uh, the answer and making it uh, take form on their own. I can't help her. Uh, uh, I can't help her find her way. She doesn't. Uh, if she doesn't find it uh, on her own, it will be mean. It will be meaningless. Labrys places her hand on her chest. She then closes her eyes and loses herself deep in thought. Eventually, she opens her eyes and looks at me. I want people to understand how I feel. Then there's someone you need to tell that to. And that's yourself over there. When I point over the shadow that's fallen silent, Labrys inhales sharply. Labrys's shadow is a part of herself that she just denied. But because she denied that part... She must also realize that there's a question she needs to answer. Why did I deny myself? I'm sure Labrys has found uh, the answer already. You get it? That's what you've been saying this whole time. In your own way. Yeah. I understand now. After making this uh, momentous realization, Labrys stands up uh, of her own will and faces her shadow. The awful part of herself that she denied. my persona. So this is the other me. It's not easy accepting yourself. 
But you managed to get past that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Laris's reply is slightly embarrassed, yet proud. It's the exact uh, combination of, mo of emotions I was hoping to see. We should get going. You have some things you want to tell Chie too, right? As we leave the announcement room, Mitsuru contacts me. Once the shadow disappeared, all uh, the uh, interference it was, create it was creating went with it. The jamming, the invisible walls, all gone. I begin escorting Labras back to the real world. <clears throat> I follow Mitsuru's direction and then reach the specified location. A number of uh, people have, have already gathered. I noticed Teddy, the Kanji, Chie, and and other as I had seen in the P1 in the P1 commercial as well. Oh, phew. You're okay, Miss President. Or should I call you Labras? Chae-san. In contrast to Chae's enthusiasm, Labras looked next towards me as if she is unsure of, of about how to feel about everything. Before I can nudge Labras over towards Chie, Chie rushes over and takes Labrus's hand. She smiles brightly after uh, she confirms that Labrus is all right. Labrus cannot uh, resist the infectious air of happiness and breaks into a smile of her own. Hello, um, sorry. Who are you? <laughs> I'm liking that look you've got going on. It's like you just single-handedly saved the world from an evil army. <laughs> Jesus. Yosuke, don't be so rude. <laughs> um, Chie turns towards me and bows energetically. Hikosan, thank you for saving Lapras. No need to thank me. I just delivered the message you left me with. Uh, don't you have some people you want uh, to introduce Lapras to? After uh, uh, being prompted, Chie dashes off and tugs Labras by her hand towards her friends. The people waiting uh, to greet them are everyday students. But none of them um, seem um, to be all that concerned by the fact that Labras is an android. In fact, it seems uh, like they're coming... Uh, uh, it seems like they're welcoming uh, her in, uh, into their group with, a big, with big smiles. Looks like they're a pretty open-minded bunch. As I'm watching them, I'm joined in by some familiar faces. Are you all right, Akihiko? I raise my hand as a, as a response to her. That's enough uh, for Mitsuru to understand the situation and smile. Aiga stands next to me and gazes as at the group of people gathered around Chia and Labras. It seems my sister has also forged a bond. <laughs> that takes you back, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. Though I am a machine, I understand what it means for people's hearts to come together. I would definitely like for my sister to learn that as well. The battle that took place three years ago marked a major turning point, not just in my life, but for uh, I guess and the other uh, that fought alongside me as well. Lavis has just uh, reached that same turning point. Watching this unfold for uh, some uh, for someone else feels nostalgic and heartwarming at the same time. Mitsuru, however, is standing unmoved. She furrows her brow when is sporting a look I know all too well. She's what's troubling her now of all times. I guess notices that uh, serious look on Mitsuru's face and speaks to her in a hushed tone. Are you thinking of sealing my sister away again? Don't tell me you're going ahead with that. I know you're in a delicate position, but I have serious <clears throat> issues with this. No, you misunderstand. I realize full well the situation here. That's not what I was thinking about. What's bothering me is that the true culprit in this case never did show their face. What? Didn't Labra say she escaped here on her own? That's what I thought most likely at the time, but that scenario doesn't match what we've learned since then. How did Labras learn about this world? Why did she call in these other Persona users? You had some basic investigation done on Inaba, right? 
If she regained her consciousness a while ago, it's possible she infiltrated your network and found out about that stuff. That's not my only doubt. Labrys' ability to cloud others' senses can only go as far as creating hallucinations. That's inconsistent with the ability to control people so thoroughly as to make them risk their lives in a hijacking. There's too much that doesn't add up. That does seem suspicious. Mitsuru is right. There are too many unexplained circumstances here. But why stand around worrying about it? All the answers we need are, are a few simple questions away. I call out to Labrys. How did you escape all the way here? Huh? I was inside a chamber and... Here we go. Labrys tries to continue, but our body immediately it goes completely frigid. That's not good. Labrys looks like she's standing completely devoid of thought, but I know better. I shout out a warning to everyone in the area. Labrys immediately reaches for the large axe on her back and brandishes it. What a pain. I have to protect Chie and the other civilians. I immediately take a step uh, forward and engage in the expressionless and engage the expressionless Labrys. This is a different situation than the, in our earlier battle. Since Labrys can now use her persona, this is going to be a much more difficult fight. If we join forces to attack her, this would be a simple matter. However, Labrys' body has already taken a lot of damage for all the battles she uh, from all the battles she's been in. There's no way of knowing if she'd survived a, com a combined assault from us. Doubt and hesitation swirl around, uh, swirl around my mind and cloud my thoughts. I must make a decision and, and follow it uh, with no regrets. That's when Mitsuru's sharp voice pierces the air. Buy me some time. Looks like, excuse me, looks like she has some kind of plan up her sleeve. Then my course of action is being decided. I tightly ball my hand into a fist and extend it towards my opponent. I reiterate my vow. I will protect you no matter what. Woo, that did a lot. <sighs> Looks like I managed to keep her intact. <laughs> but she still seems to be under uh, the control of someone else. Do we have to strike down um, the one controlling her? But where could uh, uh, they be controlling Labrys from? Just as I prepare uh, to check uh, the surrounding area uh, for my outside uh, uh, pre uh, presence uh, for uh, for any outside presences, a voice uh, echoes from somewhere. <laughs> you resorted to your fists in the end, after all. That's why people say your strength is fake. I was wondering if this was going to happen. There's a familiar voice that I can't quite place. Darkness manifests from um, outside and of nowhere. And coalesce is in the form of a person. What is that? It's another Akihiko san? Whoa! Is that Akihiko san's shadow? The darkness dissipates, and, and what was left standing there was me. Just like Labrys' shadow from before, uh, 
He looks exactly like me. The only difference is in the eyes. While the others are stirring, he coldly glare and declares, Training yourself to fight better, that's all. You haven't grown at all as a person. You're still running from your fear of losing people, just like before. So you are watching us. Looks like the mastermind of this thing has a lot of time to kill. Huh? Mastermind? He's taken aback by my taunt, but continues on. What are you talking about? I came from the sea of your soul. <laughs> Enough. You think you rattle me with that tired old thing? <laughs> Shadow, no, the mastermind arrogantly tries to rile me up, but his taunts are powerless against me. I'm not uh, taking the bait. No anger, not even surprise. There's nothing. Uh, there's, there's nothing rising within me. My heart was completely placid. The enemy orders Labrys to stand. As if a puppet on strings, Labrys responds and, and to the shadow's command. Looks like you've shown your stripes already. That power proves you're not my shadow. <laughs> so what? You still have no choice but to suffer. Unless you destroy this thing, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? I glance over at Mitsuru. She gives me a slight nod, and I laugh. Sad to say, but this show is over. What? It means we won't fall for the same trick again. Yamagishi, now! Just as Mitsuru's voice sounds, the ominous presence lurking within Labra was repelled. Turns out, the person uh, who uh, Mitsuru contacted before entering the TV was Fuka. I see. Her persona, ability, uh, her persona abilities could disrupt the control in Labrys without her having to enter this world. Are you all okay? Fuka-san? Fuka Yamagishi. She's a friend of ours who helped us greatly in the battle three years ago. She was an analytical persona. Uh, uh, she has an analytical persona, uh, and uh, she herself is a whiz at digging uh, up useful information. The Yasugami High students don't know anything about uh, Fuka and are looking uh, around in surprise. Is this like Risechan's persona? Wait, where is she? This feeling. What the? That voice. It's not coming from in here. Whoever it is, is out there! Seriously? She can use hers in the real world? That's amazing! That's not your shadow, Akihiko-senpai! It's just a fake mimicking your appearance! <laughs> Very impressive to guess correctly from such a long distance away. Guess nothing, bitch! She scanned a, she scanned a tower! You must be the one behind all this. You stole Labrys and threw her into a TV. You were after Persona users from the start. That's why you chose this school and tampered with Labrys's memories. And you just demonstrated how you controlled those hijackers. Why did you go after these students? What are you up to? Personas, Personas and shadows are one and the same. If I poison your hearts, I can recruit shadows with unparalleled strength. Wait, what? You mean turn our Personas back to shadows? The heart is frail. Its weaknesses are never fully vanquished. Given the opportunity, it can betray you and return to darkness. Old wounds that you thought you had overcome opened once again. You almost let go of your hearts. Your personas. This one's desire to make people suffer was perfectly suited for such a plan. Plan? You caused all this to gather strong shadows? Why would you do such a thing? All the loose ends are finally getting tied up. I glare at the enemy as he smugly reveals his, uh, 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 his grand scheme. That's enough. I see now that there's no room for any more excuses. I pull out my evoker. 
I can perform a summoning without uh, this now, but I still couldn't uh, just. Uh, but I still couldn't just let it go. It serves as a constant reminder of those days in his fighting as part uh, of seas. It's so I don't forget uh, the uh, joy, the sorrow, and the losses from those days. I point the nuzzle to my head, uh, just like I used to. The feeling of cold metal, the easy, tri uh, the easy trigger pull. Said before that I couldn't cast aside my fears. Back then, I felt that I didn't uh, care if I lived or died. I just wanted all the power I could manage. Whether my disregard for my own life was because I you know, secretly wanted someone to punish me, or because I wanted uh, someone stronger uh, uh, than I to uh, forgive me and allow uh, me to live. In either case, my resolution is no longer the same. People who have no fears end up dying early or throwing their lives away. My determination coexists with my fears. I know that death and loss are always close by. I squeeze the trigger of my evoker, a nostalgic sensation. I was just a kid three years ago when I laid my life on the line. But now, though, I can't allow myself to die. In my heart, I know that I cannot lose this fight. I've accumulated all this power to protect others. I'm risking my life in order to stay alive and keep my friends safe. That is my current determination. Still say you're my shadow? If a shadow is just another form of one's person, uh, of, uh, of an, uh, uh, if a shadow is just another form of one's persona, then my determination would never leave my side. Extra fight. Let's go. Ow. Niggy bugger. He used shadow raid damage to get my uh, to get my grab to whiff. to drive back a god once. I didn't think you'd resist this fiercely. I thought that I had done some serious damage to that thing, but it seems he has no intent of giving up this ridiculous charade. He nonchalantly carries on while still wearing my face. <laughs> this is fine with me. Good enough for my purposes. I've confirmed you have enough power to meet my expectations. Good enough, my ass. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You're really pissing me off! The mastermind then contorts my face into an eerie smirk and chuckles. I doubted there be any meaning in changing my appearance. But sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. <laughs> Wait! There's no way I'm letting you get away. I immediately close the gap between myself and him, but with a final smirk, he disappears. All that remains is his laughter. The reading disappeared. It didn't move, it just vanished. What could this mean? <laughs> back to square one again. Bullshit! Don't you ever come back again! Still. What was it planning on using our Persona powers for? It hasn't given up, right? 
and we'll see it again. Indeed, based on what uh, it uh, said, uh, I, uh, I have every reason to assume uh, that it'll return. The enemy's objective are still mo uh, objectives are still mostly unclear. Excuse me, and we don't even know who he is. We do have uh, the, uh, the lead, though. I look towards Masura and Igus. So I can't say this is, uh, is the uh, front. Uh, uh, this is, is in front. Uh, though I can't say this in front of the students. The fact that the mastermind uh, knew about Labyrinthness is a big clue. We're most likely dealing with someone related to Karijo. Don't worry about it. We'll handle things from here. Wait, but it kind of said it was still after us. Of course, you should be aware that the enemy is out there. Akihiko only means that there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. I'll just leave the rest of the explanations to Mitsuru. She's much better at saying the right things in these situations. In the meantime, I glare at the empty space where the enemy was. After all the members of the Shadow Operas have safely returned and from the inside of the TV, we decided to spend the day in Inaba and uh, going, uh, doing follow-up uh, stuff and, and leave quietly the next day. I'm glad things went well. Oh, but first, it's good to see you again. This is becoming a real reunion. As Fuka looks behind and her to the back next seat, Ritsura and I just smile at each other. Even for uh, those uh, of us uh, who fought that battle three years ago, journeying in, uh, into a world inside a TV to retrieve a robot still sounds absurd. Still, we managed to accomplish our mission. We retrieved Labras and we kept uh, the incident and as contained as possible. However, our plan to leave quietly like a covert ops unit uh, uh, should, uh, uh, like a uh, covert ops unit should, was foiled by uh, that group of students. Lively bunch to the very end. <laughs> Mitsuru seems to have uh, thought the lapse in security wasn't enough to stain the overall success of the mission and smiles. I recall the smiling uh, face of those students as they uh, came to see us, uh, as well from Inaba. I didn't think they'd show up. I, uh, I didn't think uh, they'd all show up. They turned a quiet departure now we planned and into a big scene. Labras who, uh, uh, who opted uh, Mitsuru not uh, not to reseal, whose Mitsuru has uh, opted to, uh, to not reseal, is uh, still uh, gazing out the rear window and waving to them. You regret parting with them? A little. But it's only a matter of time. I promised Chie and the rest that I'd definitely come back. I want to see the, the uh, Inaba group and say goodbye to them in person. Labyrinthness was the one who insisted on a formal goodbye. Not only that, she herself decided to leave them uh, for a while uh, and, join the and, the sh and join the shadow operatives. If it was unlikely uh, that uh, she could go uh, to school, even if it was unlikely uh, that uh, she could go to school with them, there may, may be some way for her uh, uh, to see her friends more often. Instead of joining up with our uh, secret group. But that wasn't what Labras wanted. There are things I must do in order to pursue uh, the mastermind that dragged, dragged all of us into this incident. If I stay with the shadow operatives, I can accomplish those things. Those were her words. She, was, uh, uh, she has, has formed bonds, but rather than uh, depending on them, she pushes forward. This must be why she's able uh, to overcome a past filled with more uh, with more grief than any ordinary person's. Her resolve is amazing. And Labrys isn't the only one who gained uh, the new determination in these lands either. In order to speak in my own uh, uh, in order to, uh, to speak in my own resolve, I straight myself and face Mitsuru. Mitsuru. I'm gonna talk to you. What is it? It's unlike you to be so formal. This won't be any time soon. But I'm thinking of leaving the Shadow Operatives eventually. What? Huh? 
Fuka doesn't uh, seem as hard uh, hit uh, as the other members, but even she's looking uh, at me with confusion in her eyes. This was exactly something that I've been thinking uh, about from the very beginning. These feelings have uh, been smoldering inside me ever since uh, I received my first mission. And I finally found uh, an avenue to direct those feelings. Mitsuru seems to realize that uh, this is something I've given a lot of thought to and responds in a business-like manner. May I ask why? There's something I want to do now. I can't do it while I'm part of an unofficial group like this. People who fear random acts of violence and crime. People down on uh, their luck uh, who have no way, uh, no one they can turn to. I want to be someone they can rely on. There is one great power that protects me when I'm faced with senseless acts of violence and in the past. One that caused me great loss. It was an ordinary police officer. Ones that caused me great loss. Right now, I'm forced to turn a blind eye to the plight of people. As though I have have to carry out my obligations as a member of... As long as I have, have to carry out my obligations as a member of the Shadow Operatives, I won't be able to help them. I'm going to have to forego protecting uh, some um, of the smaller things in order to deal with larger uh, missions. This case helped me realize uh, is that I don't want to give uh, have up on those uh, smaller things. I want to protect them. Becoming a police officer, uh, uh, police officer uh, to protect one city uh, would be great too. I'm not against working my way uh, uh, up through official channels to become a force uh, for security. But greater power is required to protect uh, the larger area. And that power can't just uh, come from my fists. There are greater intangible powers in society as well. And it wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea to work my way into the upper echelons uh, as a government official, either. Then again, I don't know if I can uh, if I'm cut uh, out for all the uh, for, uh, for all that bureaucratic stuff. But sure, have been quiet, uh, have been quietly taken in, in, in all my musings until she interrupted my train of thought with uh, some surprising words. Of all the things you were going to say, that's it. You mean that's it? <laughs> Even I know it's pretty ordinary, but whether you man a police box or become mm. a career officer, you should do it. And if you do, then I'll consider your circumstances to an extent whenever I need you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? For a moment, I couldn't understand what Mitsuru meant. Wait, are you planning on making me belong to two departments at once? <laughs> you wouldn't use the Kurijo name for that, would you? <laughs> Sorry, she's already bought the police force. Bye! <laughs> Bite your tongue. I won't do anything. But even if I don't, it'll happen on its own. You underestimate the organization's need for you. I'm kidding. Uh, Matsuri's not Elon Musk. Leaving that aside, if you're going to wish to become something like that, then there's something you need to do first. You're right. I need to train more and... Uh, no, I meant going back to college. <laughs> Matsuri sternly adds, you should follow Yamagishi's example. That reminds me, I took a leave of absence from college to go on my own journey. I didn't have a problem with my classes while I was still attending. But what about now? Time to put most to the grindstone! I'm counting on you, I guess. I've been thinking this for a while now, but Akihiko seems to need someone to manage. <laughs> I'm honored. Another trial for me to face. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. <laughs> Labros interjects with a joke at uh, my expense and starts laughing. I guess Mitsuru and even Foka warmly smile back at Labros. For Robot, Labros sure has a great... Uh, great it has great timing and a great smile. I give up and heave a deep sigh before uh, leaning back into my seat. Labras quickly formed new bonds in Inaba, and she will uh, surely uh, continue to form new bonds while she works uh, within the Shadow Operatives. 
One's heart changes through encounters with others. It's always the same, whether your heart uh, is, is, is covered in muscle or metal. Even if, uh, if the culprit behind this incident were to appear again, he'd be no match for my new determination. The weather is great today. The day's cloudy, uh, uh, cloudless sky is a perfect metaphor uh, for, uh, for my new resolve. Think about uh, how fitting the situation is, ma is makes me laugh to myself. That there are clouds there right there. After all this traveling, I finally feel like, like I've taken a step forward. And that's Akihiko's uh, story done.